for you. Well, hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to an amazing episode of the You're Not Done Yet podcast. I told y'all this new series is getting better and better. So, as you can see, we have a lovely guest on our couch. If she can introduce herself, we'll get right into it. Oh, hello, everyone. I am Stone Franklin, um, owner of What Kind of Cupcakery and Cute Dolls and Qu- uh, Cream in Quincy, Florida. Yes. So, how did we get there? How uh, did we get to What Kind of Cupcakery? Like, what was that like? What was the beginning phases of that? The beginning phases, honestly and truly, okay, it started when I was in high school, right? I think Khalil, my my best friend Khalil Moore and she had her birthday. Her birthday was in um, September. So I just made some cupcakes. And so everybody wanted one. I'm just like, I just spent my money on these. Y'all not, <laughs> I spent my money and my time. Yeah. And y'all not just going to just take one. So yeah. I was just like, okay, you give me 50 cents, I'll give you one. Right. Yeah. And so like they was gone just like that. Yeah. So I was like, okay, okay. I ain't really pay no attention to it. And then I had um, Coach Stevens class. Yeah. And then Coach Stevens class, we had to do an economics project, and we had to actually put together a business. Yeah. So it was me and my other best friend, Quantangela, and um, we made a business that we started selling brownies and cupcakes or whatever, and it went really well, and I was just like, oh, I got me a little gas money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. listen, because yeah. I get to the store to go get the stuff yeah. to the cupcakes. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking like, oh, it's, it's, I can flip this and make this. Okay, let's keep doing it. Yeah. And um, at the time, me and Quantangela, we had named it um, What Kind of Ink. But then once I got to FAMU, I went through their business program, uh, School of Business and Industry. Period. I met a lot of great professors in that program. And um, one class, again, I had to create a business. Because after I graduated high school, I was done with the cupcakes. I didn't see no purpose in them. Yeah, purpose in them, yeah. Yeah, so when I got to uh, FAMU, my professor asked me well, one of the projects was to make a, a business. Now, originally, I told her I wanted to be a business consultant. And then she was like, well, how are you going to be a business consultant? Yeah, you ain't. I ain't got no business. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I don't know what it's like to own a business and go yeah. through hardship. So she was just like, that's like a phase two type of thing. Yeah. So I focused on the cupcakes portion and made that into a business. Professor said school of business was buying it and asking me to make stuff for the faculty meetings and yes. everything like that. And she was like, you can't name your business what kind of ink because it's not an incorporation. So she was like, think of something else. Yeah. And something that's tailored to what you do. So yeah. I ain't going to lie. I shopped around and I looked at what other people was doing because that's the first rule of business. See yeah. what other Research. people are doing. Yeah. 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 So I stumbled upon Cupcakery. Just like bakery. Yeah. So I named it What Kind of Cupcake. Yes. I love it. So I'm going to preface this by saying, y'all, I eat at What Kind of Cupcake Grid every Sunday. <laughs> I go get me a slice of rainbow cake. Okay. Well, no, no, no. The new cookies and cream slice you just put out there. What, the cookies and cream? Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. the, loving it. Whew, my God. <laughs> and the rainbow cupcake. And my mom is a big fan of your key lime cupcakes. Everybody like the key lime cupcakes. The key lime cupcakes and... um. The rainbow cake. Mm-hmm. She, oh my God, she loves it. But I'm just saying, y'all, it's good. You know, it's it's real good. But need a hype. Yeah, period. But need a hype. It's, it's worth it. Okay, people be dropping from Tallahassee to come over here. Okay, it's, it's worth it. But need a hype. But I would say too, um, and the reason why I wanted to do this series too is because it's to highlight the talent that's coming out of Gaston County, mm-hmm. right? So. How would you say, like, growing up here, how has that shaped your way of breaking into independence? Because, you know, Gaston County, we're getting better, but we really don't get a good rep. Yeah. Because it's a lot of talent that comes out of Quincy. A lot of talent. Yeah. And um, and especially me being a teacher, too. Like, yeah. It is a lot of times where people are highlight the bad and not highlight the good. The good, yeah. yeah. And I'm going. I'm not going to lie. Like that, be like, like people be like, oh, you know, don't go to Gaston County schools. Don't do this stuff. I'm like, why? 
Why not? You know what I'm saying? And because it's so much of good things that come from gas and kind of, but we don't highlight them as much. Yeah. And I don't know why. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I hope that answers your question. No. Say, say it again. No, it's good. So, how has, like, growing up here, like, how has that shaped you into wanting to break into independence? Because, truth be told, have we had an example of what a bakery looks like in no. Gaston County? No. Yeah. So, okay. No, I have not had a example, but I have had an entrepreneurial example yeah. in Gaston County, which was my mom. Yeah. She owned um, Starlight Daycare. Yes. And it was a very successful daycare and I saw that she had freedom a little bit, you know. Yeah. And I think that's what really got me in the mindset. It wasn't so much um my environment yeah. and where I grew up from. It was yeah. basically what I saw. Yeah. And for a time my mama did have a very successful um daycare and I saw that she did well, and I and I never I, I just saw it, but I never in my mind was just like I'm on my own business. Yeah. But seeing her made me know that it was possible. Yeah, yeah. I love that, and, that, and that's thing too, because I feel like once you have an idea of what it could look like, it's like okay, like you said, I see my mom do it now. Yeah. How can I shake this and make it make it work for me? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And did you think that you have gotten that just by? Doing what you love, which is baking. Like, do you think that, did you, like, even imagine that's, like, how, <laughs> how it would have went? No, um, honestly and truly. Okay, so it's one thing. Like, I do, I I say I enjoy the business aspect of it. Yeah. Because if you get, if, for me and what I do. Yeah. If you get into baking and just bake for the love of it, you end up giving all your stuff away for free. Hmm. Like, I just want to do this to see how you like it. Yeah. But me, I actually do it because I want to run a business. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. You feel me? So that's why I can go in and be like, no, this is my price. Yeah. This is what I'm selling. Right. And if you're, if you don't want to indulge, you know, you're so not my fine. target. Yeah. Totally fine. Audience, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. So seeing her, um, run her business. Back then, it gave me an opportunity to be like, okay, I want to be a business owner. Not because of passion, because I don't think I have passion to do anything, but run a business. But run a business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. And it I, just so happens that I was good at yeah. banking. Yeah, no, 100%. Because, yeah. who? I used to hate, like, oh my God, all the cup. What? What you mean all the cupcakes on? Like, I, <laughs> look, I just got out of church. Like, yeah. oh, can I, can I get up the road? Yeah. Oh my god and then i would say too though but when you hear that like breaking into independence like what does that what does that mean to you like what rings a bell freedom mm-hmm. yeah um and it's not so much uh well i could say freedom in a physical aspect and freedom in a financial yeah. um aspect financial aspect financial freedom running your own business period you got to wait a little bit yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Exit, having an exit plan, like an exit strategy. Yeah, because I started teaching straight out of college because I didn't have the money to just open up a business. Because I told mom, oh, yeah, I'm not doing nothing but opening up my business. She was like, how? Yeah, because, well, I mean, how you, what you, how you going to get it? Like, how, where the money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so um, I, I was a teacher for five years. And even now, I'm scared to take money from my business. Or whatever. So I I think of other ways like yeah. doing my decorating classes, yeah. doing X Y and Z. You know, yeah. renting out spaces to yeah. people just so I can supplement their income. So financial freedom comes along, and then just being able to have like that physical freedom, not being tied down to a desk nine to five. Yeah. And then eventually, when I do have a family, okay, I can go to uh, your football games and your uh, cheerleading. Uh, yes. competitions because I've created my own schedule. Yes, because you know how to do it, yeah. And that's one thing that I appreciate about my mom, too. Um, She's been... I've been in business since I was in, like, middle school. Mm-hmm. And the one thing, like you said, it was the fact that my mom could just stop what she was doing. And yeah. Volleyball game? Okay, cool. What time is it? Like, what's the schedule? Like, yeah. we put it up on the wall now, so yeah. I know. But yeah. it was the fact that she was able to be present. 
not waiting until after five o'clock and we the game about over. I gotta put in my time and make sure they approve. You know, you know, that's <laughs> my whole that. thing. It's all of that. And then with being a teacher, so you know, most of the time, the time that you, your child or whatever is at school, you at work. When you they, at work. When they off, you off or whatever. Right. Except for like the field trips and stuff yeah. like that. But um, then you look at, you know, what you get paid. Yeah. And you like. I mean, if this is what it is, I can you know, find on. me something else to do. <laughs> Come on, I need another job. I can find me something else to do. <laughs> I need another job. Yeah, period. Yeah, yeah so I was just like, Mm-mm, it ain't going to work. I need something that uh, allows me to create my own income and allows me to create my own schedule so that I'm not just living, you just know. Just to pay bills. Just to pay bills and not enjoy what, you know, life and yeah. have a full life and yeah. not be supportive. I want. When I do have kids, I want them to go, yeah, my mom ain't never been at nothing. No, I was at everything. I was at everything. I was at everything. I want you to be like, I'm so aggravated. Yeah, yeah. Like she's always here. She's always here. <laughs> like, what? Please. Like, y'all, she's always here. <laughs> Get her. <laughs> Take her out. <laughs> I love that, though, because, yeah. you know, you're, cause you're trying to create something yeah. that you probably had as a kid. Like, you want to give that same... You know, let me tell you. Let me tell you the difference, okay? Yeah. So when my mom, she had her business. I think all the way from when I was like in pre-K, she had it all the way up to the fourth, fourth grade. Yeah. And then, um, you know, some things happened. Yeah. And then, you know, she let go of the business, and then she went back into teaching. Yeah. So the time that she had previously. She didn't have after yeah. the money that she had previously. Yeah, yeah She yeah. didn't have after when she went back into teaching. Yeah, and so it made a major difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. especially when we were used to seeing someone all the time, and then I was like, okay, well, I got to wait till she get all the yeah. work, or yeah. I got to she do this. Yeah. No, I totally agree. Um, because being present is is key mm-hmm. to a lot of things, and especially when having kids, it's being present. So one thing I do want to ask you as well, though, is like. As you're taking that step, right? Like, you've already taken that step. Like, you've gone full-time, right? Mm -hmm. What has been maybe a big challenge or some of your biggest challenges in taking that step? I've been quitting for the last three years, okay? I'm not doing this no more. Listen, when when I'm working at that schoolhouse, it's Uh safe. You feel me? Yeah, I mean, because it's, it's reliable. Because, you know, you getting it. Whenever. I mean, it might not be much. Yeah, but you know you getting I'm it. I'm getting something. You know you getting it. And right. so, um, I think that was the whole big thing. I was quitting every year. Oh, I ain't coming back. I ain't coming back. I ain't coming back. But now I'm like, no, nah, let me go ahead and come back. <laughs> Only because I was scared. Because, yeah. Because, like, and even still now, like, I'm still, like, scared. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to make stuff. You gotta happen. make it happen. You right. gotta keep making excuses, or I can get out there and make it happen. And make it happen, right? Yeah. So, um, so that was a big thing. Um, one big challenge that I had to overcome is just my own mindset. And you know, one thing people will instill their fear upon you. Yes. So, I will always say that. I always announce that I'm about to quit, and everybody would be like, "Oh, you know, you should at least try to get five years." Or, "Oh, you know, quitting is so undependable." And when it comes to business, that you might not want to take a risk with uh, Quincy. Yeah. And I'm just like, part of me was like, just like, you ain't going to try my city like that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right, because it's been doing well. It's been doing well. It's been doing well. Since 2019. It's been doing well. Yeah. Brick and mortar 2019 has been doing well. Never had some in the old days, of course. Of course. But, um, so, getting, letting other people get in my ear, that was a big setback. For me taking that leap. Yeah. Because just because the vision makes sense to you, don't mean it makes sense to others. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that was one big thing that yeah. I had to overcome. And the thing is, I was saying about this, I said this yesterday. I said that, um, I posted today, but no vision is impossible, right? Mm-hmm. You just have to be bold enough to see it through. Uh huh. And have faith. And have faith. Because once he gave it to you, he knows that you can do it. Do yeah. you believe yeah. that you can do yeah. it? Yeah, and, and it, it's not going to make sense to no. 
nobody but you and the person but who gave you. But you and the person vision. who gave it to you. Yeah. And then too, think about it as well. When he gave you that vision, were they in the vision or was Thank it? Thank you. Was it just? It was. It, was solo just, dolo. So yeah, was it just you? It was just me. Solo dolo. So yeah, it's not up to you. It's not up to you. Yeah. Not up, it's it's up to me. Literally, <laughs> my biggest <laughs> biggest biggest thing was hear other people. Yeah. And believe in their fear. Yeah. Was adequate for my situation. Yeah, and it's not. And it's not. It's not. Yeah. We don't. No, no. <laughs> it's not. It's not adequate. Mm-mm. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. So, other than that. The next big challenge, okay. So after renovations, yeah, um, I got a, like a full staff, eleven to seven. I got somebody in the kitchen. Yeah, I got people up front. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm working with you know big people like Cisco Food to deliver my food. Yeah, and bread people, this, that, and the other. And um, I say one big thing was people management and time management. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like they say, good help is hard, hard to, to find. find. Yes, ma'am. And then once you find it, you better yeah. do it. Yeah. And so, um, that was my big thing because a lot of times you think, well, I did all this by myself. Yeah. So, why in the world can't one person carry out one task? Yeah. And so, you just got to... Yeah. Realize it's, the capacity of other people. Of other people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this and so for some and the thing is too is like it's that notion of like nobody care my business like I can or I don't trust nobody with my business. But it's like for one, I gave you the vision, yeah, but you know I was gonna send you some help because you can't do you it by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. And so a lot of people be like, Oh, you know, why you just wanna do it out by how? 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 I, first of all, I gotta run two sides. I gotta run the bakery, and then I gotta run the ice cream and, and the hot dog. And, and, and then, <laughs> in the that's back. just what y'all in the see. Back. In the back. Yeah, that's what y'all see. And you then see I gotta the run the back. Then I gotta run the back. But then the other back end, I gotta do taxes, payroll. Oh, I gotta do order. I gotta do all that. How? 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 It's, not, it's not meant for one person to it's do not. all of that. And then, um, like, delegation. For what I do, yeah, is your your biggest friend. Yeah, but you know, like I said, finding somebody that has the capacity to even handle one task. Yeah, it's just do. been it's been like, and it's it's all new to me too. Yeah, yeah, so. and I and I but I think that's a good transparency moment too, because like I don't have it all together, but I know that I need help, and so if I'm just having to learn along the way, I mean that's totally fine. And that's my thing. Nowadays, <laughs> nobody is wrong. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's right. Everybody right. Yeah. And and I tell you straight up, when I first started in twenty nineteen with a brick and mortar, yeah. Like I didn't know nothing. Yeah. Like when I called the people for my license and stuff, I said, Okay, what's my next step? <laughs> yeah, like what I do next? Cause, what I do next? Yeah. Come out here and see this so you can tell me what to do. Yeah. I ain't scared to tell people I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Which is fine, because I feel like nobody does. Like, sometimes it don't matter how long you've been in business. Like, you're always still learning something. And then when you stop learning, go ahead and shut your door. Yeah, because that means you're not trying to elevate it. You're not trying to take it to the next level. Exactly. You're just trying to stay where you are. Yeah. Now. Yeah. <laughs> and so, one more question to my last one. How do you think that um, honoring your purpose or honoring your gift has allowed you to break into your end? Um, honoring my purpose, mm-hmm. how has it allowed me to break into independence? Yeah. I think, um, by honoring it, by staying consistent, mm. um, and like you say, have the vision, keep the vision, yeah. stay consistent, that allowed me to make it to... Have it evolve into what it is now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, what I've realized, and by me going through SBI, I didn't finish SBI. Yeah. But I went, I took some. You get, you look. Okay. Hey. I'll I be letting people know. Listen. Like, <laughs> hey. I, I went through. I just. I, I, and I want people to know, I'm regular daggler, please. People, <laughs> people don't even know how to talk to me. Regular. Regular. Like, I'm just a regular person. What are you, regular person. Like, what are you saying? <laughs> but yeah, so in SBI they said the main reasons why a business fail is because they're not consistent. Yeah. And so before I opened up back in January, no, I opened in t- November 2019, I said once I open, I'm going to make it to where I am consistent 
no matter what. Yeah. So I'm stable. Yeah. Like, you know that I'm open. Yeah. In the times that I'm open. Yes, ma'am. And by me, you know, staying true to what I said and my purpose, yeah. it allowed me to, like, it evolved on its own. Yes. Because it used to be Saturdays and Sundays. From Saturdays. Two to six. Exactly. Two to six. So that's, and knowing your capacity. Yes. So at the yeah. time, I knew my capacity. Yeah. I knew the only thing that I could be consistent with at the time yeah. was the Saturday, Sunday, two, two, to six. 2 to 6. Period. And if you ain't got that from 2 to 6, you got to wait until next. Next. Nah. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So at, at the end of the day, I knew my capacity, yeah. but I was consistent. You was consistent with that, right. And so that allowed me to evolve, evolve, evolve. Okay. I took this little bit, I handled it, I mastered it, let's move to the to next To the next step. thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's what helped me stay true to my purpose yeah. and evolve and make me okay with stepping into it. In, independence. Yeah. You know? And I was actually getting ready to close. So, I would say if you could leave the viewers, the listeners with anything from today, what would you leave them with? Um... Don't be afraid to be clueless. Mm. Okay? So that's what I would say. Don't be afraid to be clueless. Yeah. Be yourself at all times. Yeah. And then whatever you have, you know, make sure you understand the vision yeah. and you protect the vision. Seek godly counsel. Yes, 100%. Because if he ain't tell you to move, don't move. Don't move. Seek somebody that you know aligned with God to yeah. help direct and guide you. Right. But... You know, don't let other people's fear stop be instilled in you and stop you from doing mm-hmm. something that God already has. I called. told you, yeah. girl, do you hear me? Yeah. And I think that's the thing is too, it's like we're just why does it matter what somebody else says? Yeah, yeah. So I then I will also say, know your capacity. Yeah. And stay consistent. And stay consistent. That's right, it. Right. Listen, and that's and that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Stay consistent. But I also would say so, if the people want to buy some cupcakes, mm-hmm. they want to hear more about you and your story, mm-hmm. where can they find you? Oh, find me. Yeah. Um, yes. I am work. at 14 North Adams Street, Quincy, Florida. Yes, right. 32351. Yes. Okay? And we, um, I'm up there Monday through Sunday, 11 to 7 p.m. Yes. Mm-hmm. I love it. And so, for one, thank you so much Thank for agreeing you. to come and be a part like i'm so excited for the series listen i'm just jumping for joy back here because i'm excited girl i could talk all that listen but, I'm, but, know. but i'm excited yeah. though because it's it's an example of what's coming out of here it's yeah. an example of it's, what gas county has to offer when i tell you it's so much of talent and stuff for gas county and it really and I, I tell you this too. Yeah. So I had a professor. His name was Professor Tom Quest. He um he was he taught a juvenile class at FAMU, yeah. and he was just like so many people. This is the reason why so many people they go to college, they get all these skills inside of them, mm-hmm. and they go to other cities. Yeah. And build other cities up. Yeah. And don't build the city that Don't pay you. homage to the city that raised you. Yeah. And you don't pour anything into the city that raised you. So you go out and make somebody else's city great. Yeah. But not but not how you got here. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. And so that's another reason why breaking into freedom and being that example in Quincy. Yeah. And showing people that it is possible. It's possible. Yeah. It, it's a little harder. But if but you, once you make it here you can make it anywhere. You can make it anywhere. And that's on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's on and that's on every day. Yeah. Because the thing that's the thing is too, it's just like and we're gonna cut down now. But that thing is too, it's like we're a lot of people are just such in a rush to get out of here, but it's just like but why like you said, why would you go somewhere else? When yeah. you have to and like, perfect it right here. I'm like, of course they're doing good. <laughs> of course. Everybody goes there. You know, everybody goes to Atlanta. Yes. All they know. Tampa, yes. Jacksonville, everybody goes to those places. Yes. But who you ever heard of, okay, I'm opening up, opening up my law firm in Quincy. Yeah. I'm opening up this in Quincy. They told me, girl, you crazy Yeah. for opening up a bakery in Quincy. I said, why? You see the cup half empty, I see it half full. I'm a monopoly. Period. You know, so, don't, don't, don't think so. Hello. <laughs> I'm a monopoly. What you talking about? And a, and a great monopoly. 
that. Yeah, like I'm the only one. I'm not gonna say I'm the only bakery, but yeah, but I'm the only one that's doing what I'm doing. Yeah, hundred percent. Not not knocking nobody. Not knocking nobody. Yeah. Totally understand. Yeah. yeah. Consistency. 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 I listen to people. Listen to people what they want. Yeah. And, and I make it happen. It and make it happen. Everybody was playing. I was not long enough. Okay, once I build my capacity, I'm going to listen to you. I got you. I got you. And then, baby, when they went from 2 to 6, and I saw 11 to 7. Yeah. <laughs> I said, let's go. And baby, yeah. I be having to stop myself the time during the week. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, but listen, but I would say this too. Like, I'm just super duper proud of you. Oh, thank you. Cause, yeah. Because just seeing, like, where it, where it came from when you were selling cupcakes up there at the uh, tomato factory uh-huh. and into yeah. your, and then into that I I'm, and then like, y'all scared of hard work yeah y'all scared I'm like listen I am super duper proud of you thank you I'm so proud of you because and the thing is too and it's like you know how you grow up with people and like you're just watching them just like mm-hmm. blossom into something it's yeah. like yeah, yeah yeah and I be telling people despise not small beginnings please because you have to start somewhere you have to start somewhere like everybody be Oh, I got to get the bill. I got to get this. No, no I got to get start. Just start. I was on the side of the road holding a cupcake sign. And you used to go on live. I'm up here at the tomato factory yeah. until yeah. everything gets sold out. Yeah. I wasn't scared. I wasn't shame. I didn't have all that ego. Oh, I could never. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. Because cool. doing that on the side of the road has allowed me to open something. Thank you. Despise not small beginnings. Okay? Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Y'all. Listen, y'all listening to y'all watching this, I bet y'all like, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, but this series was just very important to me. And when God gave me the name, the, the gave me the names, I was like, okay, bet. And I'm mm-hmm. like, well, God, I don't take serious. <laughs> like yeah. But I was like, but I appreciate it, too, you know, because you being open and transparent about your journey, mm-hmm. a lot of people don't know. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They just see what's now. They see what's now. Like Alicia Keys said, she said, I, I became an overnight success. It took me seven years to become an overnight success. Yeah. That's what Alicia Keys said. Yeah. Everybody thought she blew it. Just like, and she no, it was, it was work. Yeah. yeah, it was work behind the scenes to take you to where to get you to where you are. And you can't be afraid to put in the work. I've been doing this since 2013. 10. Yeah, and by the grace of God, you know, I was able to blossom. To yeah, life, but. but it's but it's it's worth it. And once again, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. So y'all, this has been an episode. Okay, this has been a great episode. So make sure you're following us on Instagram at You're Not Done Yet Pod and your host at It's Andrea B on Instagram. And we will see you next time.